at Joey's West Coast Adventures. This audit really, you guys, is for myself uh, more so than anything because um, really, the only advice I would give you guys is know the law. Know what the cops can and cannot do. And number one, they cannot take your ID. They can, they can ask for it, yes, but they can request for it, yes, but no, you don't have to give them your ID. California actually is one of the few states where you don't even have to have RAS, R-A-S, Reasonable Articulable Suspicion. California actually says if you're arrested, then you have to give up your ID, but not until then. And that's a, one of the very few states. So that's a good thing. If you're driving in a car with other people, yes, your passengers don't have to give up all their IDs or anything like that. So it's just knowing your, knowing your rights and knowing what the bully, really what the law is, because these cops will turn around and basically detain you, try to arrest you, and lock you up for not giving you, them your ID. No. Basically, um, if I get into this situation right now, the cops show up and they were asking me for my ID or we're going to de uh, detain you, all I'm going to tell them is, you know what, here, put the handcuffs on me now because you're not detaining me. You're actually, <laughs> what you're doing is you're kidnapping me and you're holding me for ransom. That's what they will be doing. So it's their choice. They can kidnap me and hold me for ransom until I give my ID or they can let me go. So that's the way I see it. Just know your guys' rights. Um, it is what it is, you guys, and uh, this is, I'm going to be going into the Fresno County Library downtown. It is haunted. It also has a bomb shelter that I wanted to check out. I wanted to see if the people are going to be courteous and uh, let me do what I need to do, or they're just going to stop me. So, want to see what happens, you guys. Join me, and uh, let's go in, and uh, let's see what happens. Let's Check it out. Let's do it. Oh, wow. Oh, check this out. Check that out. That's so cool. So cool. You know, I've never been in here, you guys. Some of these pictures. I think that building there has a bomb, bomb shelter also. And that one there.
Yeah, you work here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I've been doing a couple of stories. I've been going all around Fresno. And and most of them, the private, they, they like the Warners and the Rainbows, they let them go in there. It's really cool. The bomb shelters, this place has two stories. One about the bomb shelter down in the basement and the haunted aspect, because I did mostly all the haunted places in Fresno, except for this one and uh, that home over here by the hospital, I mean by the, by the church. <laughs> and I did all the rest of them. But I've been trying to come here for the past about three or four years, just to see what it was like and what it was about. And you guys did actually do tours in October, actually too, for the Honda things, I think. Two weeks? Yeah, was back, about three or four years ago, they used to come, they used to do the tours in October. You know, a whole group of people come in and do the whole tour thing. I, I was never able to get into that tour. <laughs> so I thought, you know what, I just want to come in. I've never been in this, I've been here all my life, I've never been in here. I want to know if I could go down and see and, and get documentation of that uh, bomb shelter that's in the that's in the basement and be able to take that. Like I've done all the other places. I did Warren Warner's is really cool down underneath. Yeah, uh, yeah, Warner, yeah, that's really cool. I got, I got video of that. I it's wish really I cool could. Down there. I don't know who you. I would talk to. I would go up the stairs mm -hmm. and talk to a lady at the office. What's your name? Business office. Her name is Maricela. Maricela. Yeah. And see what she says. You probably have to talk to someone that can give you access. Yeah, so, cause I was thinking, is, is it access? And, right? and give you, let you go down. Not, not public can't go down there. Because uh, they'll have old books. They have um, um, a lot of stuff down there that that probably... Historical stuff, old. yeah, they don't want to be, yeah, they don't yeah. want to be touched. Yeah, eight, I, I, I've I, seen I a book that. of 1895 there. Wow. Uh, um, uh, but you'd have to ask them up. You have to go up. Okay, I'll go up there. So the elevators will actually take you down to the... Hey, it, won't, it won't take public down there. It won't take public. Okay, so that's why you have to have access. Let me go ask her. I mean, all she could do is tell me no, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and see what she says. And maybe she could. you could talk to someone there that has more authority than me. And then okay. You, you, I will let you, but I don't have and her authority. Name, her name is what? Maricela. Maricela. Yeah. Okay, I could just go up and that she, way and go and ask her. Yeah, you can go up there and you'll see the, uh, the office. Uh -huh. It's right there. There's a door with a little window. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Said. Thank you. Yeah. All right, I give that guy a B just for his honesty. But he did say he could take me down, but didn't want to get in trouble because he didn't have the authority. So now let's check it out and see what they tell me up the stairs here. And we'll go from there. Hi, Maricela. Oh, that's you. Okay, <laughs> thank you. I found you easy. Um, I've been doing documentary history at Fresno for the last couple of years, and mostly private sector, like the Warners, really cool down underneath there. <laughs> and they, they're built like more like a bomb shelter too down there, mm -hmm. at Rainbow Ballroom. <clears throat> but um, this place has two stories. One is um. You have a bomb shelter mm -hmm. in the bo <laughs> I would love to be able to see it. But that's one. The other part of it, the other story is uh, this is number 10 of the most haunted places in Fresno. <laughs> and, and I've been to all of them except for this one. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, I've never seen anything, and I've worked here 20 years. <laughs> yeah, see, and that's what a lot of, I mean, I've, I have never, I, I lived here all my life, and I never. I've heard all the stories, but I never had the opportunity to come over here and check it out. But the bomb shelter got me. Mm. Is it possible that somebody, I could see that? Um, I can take your name and number, um, and get permission, and then we can see. Um, oh yeah, great, I mean, I, that'd be great. I'll come back another time if, you know, if, that's, yeah. if that's doable, because um, I would love to go down and videotape that. Like I did in all the other places. I mean, mm. private sectors are allowing me. I've never been to public. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and but you know what? This has a history. It has two stories here, mm -hmm. and people tell me you gotta go check it out. I go, I I, I want to do the tour. You had the tours in October, right? Before in the past, for the haunted thing, um, you had a group of people coming in and uh, and doing the haunt, like you know. Yeah, I think they might have done something yeah, like that. It, it, it used to be in the night, and I never I tried to get in it, but I couldn't get into it. And uh, <laughs> don't think you're gonna be doing them anymore. <laughs> but I, I can take your name. Yeah, you could call Joey. Joey? Yes. 
Okay, all right, I got your information here. What are the chances of somebody saying, yeah, sure, you know what, we could, and you could have walked me down there, I don't think about myself, but you know, yeah. I don't mind, I mean. I don't know, I don't know what they're gonna say. You know, I, all I can do is pass on the information and then. Okay, uh, I thank you very much, I appreciate you're it. You're welcome. All right, thank you. Tell me nothing here, but it's pretty cool. I'm gonna go back down. Yeah, I gave him an issue. Hopefully, she should send him a call and uh, send something uh, yeah, up. Yeah, I gotta I get come back and set something up. Yeah, you probably have to set something up and okay. go down there. But that'd be cool. Thank you. I appreciate it very much. Okay. <clears throat> you can see books lying around or nothing, you guys. Out of here, you guys. This is a little video. They ain't gonna say nothing. See, I don't know. It's pretty cool. Someone's gonna tell me nothing. Link it up. Well, there you go, you guys. Uh, audit the Fresno County Library. And that's the way it should go. I mean, it was pretty cool. They didn't care about the cameras. They never said one thing about it. Cops weren't called out and trying to take away my rights or anything. So as far as that goes, it was pretty cool. But Maricela, I give her a C for the BS that she was telling me because... They should allow me to go down there and videotape that bomb shelter, but they're not going to allow me. Um, I called back. They said it's private down there, so they won't allow me to go down and videotape. But other than that, um, it is what it is, you guys. Fresno County Library. Uh, my way of auditing and uh, just to see what happens and everything was cool. And um, I'll go back and maybe do a haunted thing here one of these days. All right. Peace out to my next one. See ya.